If Lequacity could stop anyone from being executed, then Raymond Carl Kinnaman might still have been alive today. Born on November 20, 1941, Raymond Carl Kinnaman was a career criminal with 18 felony convictions. The incident that brought him to death row was, on Monday evening, December 11, 1984, Kinnaman was one of several patrons seated at the bar in NJ Lounge in Houston. He had entered the bar several hours prior and, according to witnesses, sat alone, occasionally playing a video game mounted atop the bar. At one point he had a brief conversation with the bartender, Jeannie Marriott. After last call had been announced Kinnaman acted as if he was leaving with the other customers. Before exiting, he told Marriott that he had to use the restroom, turned and walked back across the lounge. When Kinnaman came out of the restroom a short time later, waitress Sharon Bryson and a patron, Kenny Simmons, were seated at the bar and Marriott was cleaning up behind the counter. At that point, Kinnaman, possessing a firearm, ordered the employees and remaining patrons, including Ronald Longmire, the decedent, to put their hands on the bar and refrain from looking at him. He ordered Marriott to take the money out of the cash register and place it in a bag. Since no bag was available, she used Bryson's purse. After Kinnaman took the money, he ordered everyone to proceed to the men's restroom. Ronald Longmire, the decedent, was apparently at the end of the line, with Kinnaman following. As the people were proceeding to the restroom, Kinnaman asked them for their jewelry. As they were trying to remove their rings and watches, Kinnaman asked Longmire, What is that in your pocket? To which the decedent responded nothing, just my driver's license. A shot was fired, then a second almost immediately thereafter. The record indicates that the second shot entered the decedent's back from the left side at an angle. Longmire apparently fell to his knees. At this point, Sharon Bryson, the waitress, escaped through a rear exit, and in so doing activated a burglar alarm. The bartender, Jeannie Marriott, was pulled into the walk-in cooler by Kenny Simmons. About that time, a third shot was fired. Simmons later testified that while he and Marriott were in the cooler, Someone attempted to enter from the outside by pulling on the door handle to the cooler. Meanwhile, Bryson fled to a nearby convenience store and telephoned the police. Approximately 10 minutes after the shooting, Marriott and Simmons came out of the cooler and saw Longmire wandering aimlessly through the bar, muttering incoherently and bleeding profusely from the gunshot injuries. When the police arrived, Marriott directed them to Longmire, who by that time was dazed and seated on the floor in a corner. Longmire was rushed to the hospital and died a short time later. Kinnaman was identified in a photo array by the eyewitnesses to the offense. Some two weeks later, he was apprehended at his Houston residence and placed under arrest. On July 25, 1985 a jury in Harris County, Texas convicted Kinnaman of the murder of Ronald Charles Longmire in the course of an armed robbery of a bar and its patrons. The jury answered affirmatively the three questions asked in the sentencing proceedings and on July 30, 1985 the trial court sentenced Kinnaman to death. The Texas Court of Criminal Appeals affirmed the conviction on April 18, 1990. Instead of filing a petition for certiorari, Kinnaman filed an application for writ of habeas corpus in the state trial court. Without a hearing, the state trial court entered findings of fact and conclusions of law, 
and the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals thereafter denied relief. The Texas Court of Criminal Appeals set out the facts of the offense. A jury in State District Judge Ted Poe's court for capital murder sentenced Kinnaman to death on July 30, 1985. The execution, as later said by Judge Poe, would take place before dawn on December 12, 1995, exactly 10 years after the murder. In interviews, Kinnaman jokingly remarked that it was poetic justice. Prior to this incident, Kinnaman had been convicted of 17 felonies, including 8 aggravated robberies, 2 robberies by assault, and 3 burglaries. Altogether, he had been sentenced previously to a total of 223 years in prison and had served 3 separate prison terms. Defense attorney Marsha Rutenbar raised 15 issues in his appeal. Her arguments included that Kinnaman did not receive effective legal help in his early appeals, jury instructions were improper, and all witnesses were not able to positively identify him as the gunman from NJ Lounge. Judge Poe rejected this appeal, sending it to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, who also denied the request. Defense attorney Hansen asked for a life sentence on the basis that there was evidence that Longmire tried to resist Kinnaman. But prosecutor Doug Durham kept pushing for the death penalty stating that Kinnaman was an ongoing threat to society. On December 11, 1994, the day of his execution, at approximately 10.30 p.m., U.S. District Judge Kenneth Hoyt granted a stay of execution only to have it overturned by the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans. The death warrant took effect shortly after midnight and ordered that the execution be carried out before dawn. During Texas's busiest week for executions since 1986, and its first Sunday execution since the reinstatement of the death penalty. Kinnaman was brought to death on the 10-year anniversary of his crime. Kinnaman made an apparent but unsuccessful attempt at a 30-minute filibuster to talk his way out of his own execution. He expressed love and thanks to many people, also making it clear that he was not ready to go. 11 minutes after the injection, Raymond Carl Kinnaman, 53, was pronounced dead at 5.56 a.m., 11 minutes after receiving an injection of lethal drugs. His last words were, I can see no reason for my death. He then lifted his head and shoulder off the gurney on which he lay and tried to slide his arm from a leather restraint. Thank you for watching Death Row.